Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good day, wherever you are around the world. I want to welcome you to Asanoa Radio and Asanoa Christian TV on Behind the Art. Today we are blessed and we are privileged to have a wonderful woman of God who's um, taking the gospel music to a different level. We're going to be talking to her and to find out a little bit about her life and her background and also the music that um, she's doing. So without wasting much time, let me introduce you to Madam Lydia Okpara. Madam Lydia, you're welcome. Yes. Thank you so much. Good evening from Nigeria. Good evening. Good evening. I'm so excited to come to Nigeria again this week. Last week I was in Nigeria and this week too I'm in Nigeria. So it's an exciting wow. um, thing for me. And the most exciting thing is this interview is on my birthday. So I oh. am really, really excited. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So Madam Lydia, yeah. if somebody is watching us, and seeing you the first time and want to know you, can you please tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay, my name is Lydia Opara. I'm married to Pastor David Opara, pastor at Christ Life Believer Center here in Nigeria. And we are blessed with three children, two beautiful girls and a boy. I'm the last child in a family of seven my father was a police officer and my mom, a businesswoman. Hmm. Wow. Wow, nice. So as a police officer's daughter, how did you yes. feel when there was um, the SAR uh, and SARS in Nigeria, the protest going on? How did you feel as someone whose blood is in that um, in the police force. In fact, um, currently, my one of my brothers is a police officer right now. <laughs> you oh, know, wow. I have this kind of mixed feeling because I have mm -hmm. a relative who is who is a police officer, and then I also feel for the citizens who have been exploited by mm. police um, and women. So I was of the um, opinion that. As much as um, my my um, sibling, direct sibling, is in the police officer, we also wanted Nigeria Nigerian police to do their best to make sure that they protect the citizens of the country. Wow, wow! I I pray that um everything goes uh, peacefully and or we don't see these kind of things again because we cannot bear the especially during these times, um, the world is facing cri crisis. Yes, so um, yes. you also mentioned that you were the seventh, seventh child of seven uh, of your parents. So the, the last born, who is the yes, seventh yes. child. So how does it feel to be the last born of, of, of your parents? Well, it's um, interesting. For me, being the last child was interesting because I had to get a lot of things from my older sibling. In fact, mm. uh, my eldest brother is like a mentor to me. All of them actually played roles, you know, in my life to make sure that I become who I am today. You have siblings who are guiding you, correcting you, showing you love. Mm. And my family is such that we are kind of, we had a strong bond. Mm. of um, super siblings so it's interesting but it also gave me um, an opportunity to grow up fast because I had to mm. shoulder lots of <laughs> responsibilities when the older ones had gone you know <laughs> so I was the only one that had to do most of the things too so that's mm. it that's it wow wow that's I think it has its good side and then its downside as well. So 
I mean, at yeah. least you, it helped you grow fast, which is very important in the world yeah. that we are in now. You have to always be able to adapt. You have to be able to move in a pace where the world is going. So I think um, that leads me to the next question. I see that you are the director for White Touch Diagnostic Center. Can you talk to us a yeah. little bit about White Touch? Okay, White Touch is um, a model diagnostic center that is poised for excellence. At White Touch, we run varieties of services. We run pathology tests, and we also run imaging and um, tests also. So in pathology, we do we test for bacteria, uh, viruses, and we check. We, in fact, we, what what um it what diagnosis di diagnosis really is is helping to interpret an ailment, you know, helping uh, the doctor to interpret an ailment, yeah. So someone comes mm. to the hospital, and then you have to check what is wrong with the person before the doctor knows how to treat the person. So that's what diagnosis is. And White Search has been, we've been in business for five years now. October wow. um, last year, made us five years, October 10th to be precise, made us five wow. years in business. Okay. Oh, wow, nice. So that means you guys play a very major role in the healthcare service because without you being able to diagnose and tell the doctor what is going on, the doctor is not able to provide the effective treatment for the illness. God bless you for yeah. what you guys are doing to help uh, mankind. Thank you so much. Since we are on that topic, so if someone is watching us and is in Nigeria, what is the location so they will be able to um, visit you if they need to? Okay, so our location is we're in Lagos, and in Lagos we are in the Lekki Epe Axis. So our office address is at Ranaj Plaza, opposite Golden Park Estates, Ogidon, Lekki. Lagos. And um, a phone number if they need to call. Okay, so um, 090 944 77921. And they can also visit our website at www.whitetouchdc.com. You can send us an okay. email at info at whitetouchdc. Wow. That's um, amazing. Okay, listeners, if you are watching us and you live in the Lagos area, um, the, that's the location that um, Madam Lydia has provided. Visit her, patronize in her business. Let the Christians, believers, patronize in each other's business to help grow the business. Because remember, if the business grows, it comes back to the church. And it helps yes. the gospel to expand. The, the people um, will be able to take care of the needy as well. So please patronize in a Christian, Christian owned businesses. So the glory will go to God. Amen. Amen. Thank okay. you so much. Ma oh, you're welcome. So now let's get into music let's get to music so as um, a director of this big industry or big business what made you switch or what made you decide to do music okay so i i didn't really decide to do music i would always loved music as far as i can remember i started singing from age four age four to be a more precise i think at, at, at age four at least i can still remember um my growing up i started singing and i started writing songs i can remember writing songs from like 15 years ago mm. but i never recorded any of them I've never recorded any of them. I sing it to my parents, to my siblings. In fact, sometimes my siblings still sing my songs, but you know, it's just within the family. So I've always mm -hmm. loved music. And I've been in choir all my life. You know, it, it got to a point, um, sometimes you, you, you switch into career and then you 
pursue career and then you want to um, have a livelihood, a means of uh, livelihood. But there has always been this passion about music. So I thought mm. to myself that why not do what you love to do alongside your career? Your career is your career. You go to work every day, but every other day that you're not working, that you're not doing anything, you can actually sing. You can actually worship God. You can actually do what you love to do. And then I also thought about sharing it with the world. So why not share what you love to do with the world? Someone out there might be blessed with what you have. Mm. So that's why I decided to do music. Wow. That's um, interesting. So in a nutshell, although you were um, succeeding in your career, but there was, there was a missing link that is yes, doing what you love, personally love to do effortly. And that's what um, you're doing now. And anytime I see somebody that finds their true purpose, I become excited because um, the world, if you don't take care, the world will rob you of your true purpose on this earth. So it is That's important true. that um, when you find your true purpose, you pursue it and you let the Holy Spirit lead you into it. So we thank God that you are able to find your true purpose and you are pursuing it. Speaking of that, so I see that um, you. your first song released, I'm not sure if that's the, the, um, that's what it is, but it's The Blessings. Can you take us into the thoughts? Well, what that's, what that's comes in mind? I'm sorry? The Blessing is not actually the first song. The first song was in 2014. Oh, but the blessing wow, okay. Came so what is that first song and what is the motive behind that song okay the first song um, is Chimarama but Chimarama is a story of um, if you, the, the lines of the song is there is a flame a fire that burns within it was actually mm. at the point where I told myself that I needed to express more so it was mm -hmm. like there was something burning on the inside of me and I needed to let it out. So that was at the point that Chimarama came out. Mm -hmm. You know, so Chimarama was like a breakout for me. Mm -hmm. so I had, to, I had mm -hmm. to put that expression to music that, look, there is a fire burning on the inside of me and it had to come out. It had to be expressed. There is a, I'm overcoming my fears. I'm overcoming my my um, struggles. I want to really do what um, God has for me. And then there is this mm -hmm. line in the song that um, I'm better, you know, than what I was before. So I'm pushing. So that's wow. Chimarama. So Chimarama came up. And then um, I didn't do anything for like five years, you know, but I was brooding. Those five years I was writing songs. I was, um, mm. you know, trying to um, build my business at the time. Mm. And then the blessing came out. Mm. Okay. So the blessing, so, uh, yeah. Yes. Go ahead. You said the blessing. Okay. So the blessing came out from an understanding of who I am in Christ. You know, now it's a, it's a link from Chimarama. Because Chimarama was... A young lady who wanted to break out, you know, mm. and better from where I started from. A young lady who had so much passion and wanted to come out. And then I now got into understanding who I was in Christ, mm. the blessings that I have in Christ, you know. So that was how the blessing came out. Mm -hmm. And the blessing also, um, you know, because be between the time of Chimarama and the blessing, I had this accident. You know mm. that um, was um, it was life threatening at the time, so it's kind of made me to to start reflecting. You know, you know, I, I I had this accident, and then I started digging deep into the Word of God to know about the re the realities I have in Christ, the benefits mm. of knowing Jesus, 
you know, and then the blessing came out. So the blessing mm -hmm. is anchored in of Galatians 3.13, that, that Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law, you know, mm. and has given the blessing of Abraham. So there is no sickness, there is no death, there is no um, lack, there is no poverty, you know, and um, so that's how the blessing came out. So the blessing is a song of declaration. It's a song mm. of, of telling the story of who you are in Christ. It, so it, it was born out of that experience. For me, because the experience made me to really go into what God and I said, like I'm serving God. I wanted to know what is it in, in, in what what um benefit do I have in Christ? And then that was how the blessing came. Wow, that's that's a very good um combination because looking at the first song, which is expressing or it. It's like introducing yourself into the industry yeah. at the same time, telling the world who you truly are, besides everything that um, people see around you, there is something that is within you. And then from there, you came to the blessings, which is realizing that, okay, if I truly pursue the calling that God has given me, there is a benefit. It's not just... Um, doing it for show but the actually yes. uh blessings pertaining to that so with that said let's listen to this song and we'll be right back for, with the rest of the interview um so if you're joining us we are still on behind the art we'll be back Jesus Christ. beautiful song that's really a beautiful song when i heard this song i started playing it in in my car driving and the instrumental and how the beats was arranged i mean first <laughs> if i didn't know you i would have thought it was a um a contemporary um song someone that's wow. not from nigeria that song I mean, did that song. <laughs> so knowing wow. that it's from you, I was really impressed. So with that said, Thank what is the so motivation much, so behind your song? Because it looks like you have this tempo and you have this uh, contemporary um, 
style. What is the motive behind that? Well, um, the motive, the motive behind my song is, um, if I heard from someone, a music producer, who said to me, he said it casually, but I, it made sense to me. He said, just sing as it comes. Because I asked him a question, I said, there is this thing about singers trying to do a particular genre uh, of music. And he said, you don't need to con confine yourself in it particular pattern, just sing as it comes, you know, and that has helped me to create my music. So I sing as it comes. I sing as I'm inspired to do. And I also sing songs that relate to my environment, sing songs that tells us, that tells a story of where I am at a particular time or tells a story of things around me. Wow. Okay, so that leads me to the next song, um, which is, look what you have done for me. Yeah. What is the inspiration? And before, before you get into it, let's listen to that song. And then when we'll come back, um, uh, we'll talk more about that song. Um, what you have done for me. And there is, I don't know, there is this um, thing about that song that I really admire. So let's listen to that song. We'll be right back.
wow i'm sorry i need to cut this song but the song is amazing it's amazing 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 song um so the clouds now that we have taken a yes. listen to yes. that song um can you tell us the inspiration what i mean was going through your mind when you were writing that song can you take us to the through the process step by step how you started writing and how everything went step by steps okay so um clouds was a spontaneous song the song came one of the days we were having a midweek service and that mm. was to take worship that day and then i just began to sing spontaneous songs and then i said singing those words just like clouds of smoke you know your glory fills this place and then like clothes of fire the glory is revealed so i started singing it and it just stuck so by the time i was was done with worship i had to pen it down it wasn't really refined at the time but i had to i had to pen it down and then i kept brooding on the song and then that was how we came up with what we have today wow one of the so what the re- that came to my mind yeah mm-hmm. okay one Go of ahead. the pictures that came to my mind when when i was writing um the song was you know, when the Bible said that the glory of the Lord filled the temple. And then mm. I also thought about when the Bible said that the Holy Spirit came upon us like clothes of fire. Mm-hmm. In Acts, that when the disciples were uh, praying, the Holy Ghost came mm. upon them like clothes of fire. And so I thought about it that when our worship rises unto God like smoke, his glory comes like fire. Wow. And so that was how, yeah. Wow. Interesting. So, how was the feeling like when you heard the final production? It was amazing. It was amazing. When I heard the final production, you know, I I was like, I didn't know that a beautiful song like this could, you know, come out. Especially the last um, part of the song, where. Um, your presence sets us on fire. You're moving, mm-hmm. we are changing. You know, that path came much later when I was building on the song. You know, so mm. it, it, it told a story of when we worship God like clouds of smoke, his glory comes like clouds of fire. And then there is mm. an overflow of his presence, there's an overflow of his um of his glory, and then mm. God is moving and we are the ones changing. Wow. You know. So that means for every time God moves, God moves, we are the one that gets the impact of the change. So wow. this was really I'm, a very <clears throat> amazing um, song for me. It is amazing song. I must confess, if I really didn't know it was you, I would have thought this is an hail song that did this song. Oh, really? Because <laughs> yes, the tune and everything sounded like hail song. You know, I've been listening to his wow. song for a while. So it sounds like similar to something that Hill songs will do. And we'll do. it's really wow. a blessing. And God bless you for availing yourself for that amazing song. So we are wrapping up. Do you have any words, any encouraging words to the person watching you? As a young artist, a a young um, woman, a young man coming up, um, battling in between careers, battling in between situations, thinking on which part to go, what can you tell this person? Okay, so um, what I want to say to you out there listening to me, battling which path you should take is to... Live one day at a time, mm. trusting God that He has your best interest at heart. You know, sometimes we go through the temptation of wanting to get things so fast. You know, you want to uh, 
be out there so fast. But when you live one day at a time, God will take you through the processes that you need to become um, the best at what you will be doing at the time when you get to where you should be. So live one day at a time and trust God and just keep enjoying Jesus. Wow. Keep enjoying Jesus. Keep enjoying Jesus. Um, that's an amazing way to end. So now, how can someone follow you? And how can we get the songs, all these songs? I believe you have about um, seven or 10 songs. How can we find these songs? Yeah, about, OK. So you can follow me on social media. My social media handle on Instagram is at Lydia.Okbara. And then I'm on YouTube as Lydia Okbara. And my Facebook page is Lydia Okbara. So any of the social media handle that you follow, you will find me. And I have my music on Audio Mac. And I'm also trying to upload it to, to get to so many other platforms. So I'll be doing that next week. I'll get all my music out on all the platforms that you can think about. Wow. So now if anybody wants to listen to the song, they should go to YouTube and they'll find them. And also yes, Asana yeah, Radio. Audio yeah. An yeah. audio Mac. Yeah. Asanwa Radio will be playing all these songs um, on the radio. So tune in to Asanwa Radio at www.asanwa.org and listen to this amazing song and others as well. And Madam Lydia, I understand you're a speaker as well. Yes. So what type of... Um, um, how should I put it? What do you speak about? Like what what, what journey? Are you into maybe marriage? Are you into maybe relationship? Are you into, do you speak about, um, what do you speak about normally? Well, um, I have a channel. I have a, a blog, feedyourinspiration.com, mm. www.feedyourinspiration.com. And I speak about anything, really. I just want to encourage someone, just like the name is Feed Your Inspiration. As the inspiration comes, I speak to people. So I try to um, talk to people to help them find solutions to their problems. So I could be talking about marriage. I could be talking about parenting. I could be talking about anything, life goals. So I speak about inspiration as they come. And I also have um, a group of women that I have a group of um, a group mother's link is called mother's link we pray together it's a group of women that pray together and we have a, a page on Facebook mother's link it's just a platform mother's for women link. to come together yes mother's link yes just a platform for women to come together and pray and then we drop inspirational quotes for women just to help them know God better and to live life better. Wow. You, you sound fully packed. Um, one of these days, Asanwa Christian TV and Radio will invite you to come speak to our audience. Um, we pray that okay. when the time comes, um, you'll be available and you speak with us. Amen. I'll, amen, I'll really amen. be glad to. Amen. Amen. So do you have any final words? Well, my I just want to say a very big um, thank you to Asamwa Radio for it's a, it's a great privilege for inviting me for this interview. I count it to be of a, a great opportunity. And I want to say thank you so much to every member of the team of Asamwa Radio. And I want to say uh, keep up the good work. Keep doing what you're doing and God will bless you all. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Amen. 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 All glory goes to God. Thank okay. you. And so thank you especially that... to you too for having oh. me. <laughs> glory to God. Glory to God. Normally, I'm not the one that does the interview, but 
I'm stepping oh. in for the person. So all glory goes to God. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. All righty. As you heard from the amazing woman of God, um, Lydia Opara, please go to social media, all social media platforms, search Lydia Opara, Opara and um, follow her on YouTube, Audio Mac, tune, stream her music. I'm telling you, this is a prophecy that this lady is going to go international in the next three, four years. Believe me, Amen. because the type the type of content she's producing, it's international worthy. So let's support her. Let's push her. Be the one to speak that I was part of the people that promoted Lydia Opara to go international. And I know the Lord will bless you because the Bible says that whoever gives a cup of water to um, a prophet of God shall receive a prophet's reward. Your cup of water will be streaming her songs, sharing it, um, promoting it every chance that you get so that the gospel will be spread across the globe. God bless you for tuning in. And until we meet again, Next time with another wonderful interview, may the Lord bless you and the peace of God be upon you. Shalom.